guys, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to be sharing a story about the time I got hacked on Instagram and then again on Snapchat. So if you want to hear those stories, please stick around and let's get on into it. Okay, let's get into the story. So about a month ago, I would say I was on my Instagram. Okay, let me back up. I have a real account, which is like what I post just like pictures on. And then I have a Finsta, which is for my friends. And then I have a makeup account. So I am always logged into all three of those like all at once and just have them running like on my phone. And all of them have different passwords and most of them are like passwords from Safari. So like not really like people can't really guess it. So I'm on my Instagram and I get logged out of it and I'm like that's really weird but sometimes that happens like sometimes my phone will like restart and it'll like just mess with my Instagram so I'm like okay it's fine so I like go to log back in and this is on my main account so I go to log back in and it's not letting me log in and I'm like what the heck's going on like is someone in my account like did someone change my password like I'm confused so the first thing I do is like reset password but unfortunately the email that I had like set up with my Instagram was like not an email that I could get into so I was like okay this is really frustrating me so I ended up emailing like Instagram saying like hey I think my Instagram has been hacked like I don't really know what's going on I'm not on my account right now it's not letting me log back in but they hadn't responded yet and meanwhile all this is happening I'm trying to get back into my account and my friends are texting me like Jenna you just posted a picture with no makeup on on your account like You've never really done that before like that's not really like a picture that I would expect you to post and I was like freaking out because I was like where did they get this picture like I haven't posted this picture anywhere I didn't have it on my finsta and I hadn't like posted it anywhere that any anyone would have except for on my phone like it was only in my camera roll like I hadn't posted on Facebook Twitter none of that so I didn't even take it on snapchat so it wasn't on snapchat either so I'm like okay that's really weird that someone would have that picture posted of me and pretend to be me and post it so I'm like okay great so I'm like freaking out at this point I'm like someone's in my account they're posting stuff they're not just in my account but now they're posting things like they're active on my account and then the next thing I know I'm getting texts from like a bunch of people like Jenna you just posted a picture of yourself in a bathing suit like on your story like and I know you just said like you didn't post that picture of you with no makeup on so like I think someone's in your account posting things. And I'm like, oh my god, this is really frustrating. And I'm crying because I'm like freaking out at this point like someone's in my account posting things. And I'm trying to figure out who could do this like I don't share my passwords with people. They're all like Safari passwords. And like all of my accounts have different passwords so I'm like okay like I'm not really sure like I never gave my bo old boyfriends like my passwords I haven't given my friends any of my passwords like I don't even have them on my notes on my phone so I'm freaking out like they had posted a picture of me in my bathing suit I'll like put the pictures that they put like right here so you can kind of like tell what I'm talking about and I'm so frustrated at this point. They had posted pictures of me in my bathing suit. And I was like, where did they get that picture? And then I remembered that I posted that picture on my Finsta for my friends to see. Because I was like asking a question or something. I don't really remember. But so they had gone on my account and blocked my Finsta. Because I was still logged into my Finsta and my um, makeup account. So they had blocked my Finsta so I couldn't see and my makeup account so I couldn't see what they were posting. Only The only way I could see it was my friends sending me it. So I'm like, okay, like I'm not really sure what to do. Instagram's not responding to my emails. Like I can't reset my password because I don't have my phone set up with it. And I also didn't have an email that I like knew how to get into. So I'm freaking out. I'm FaceTiming with my best friend like trying like two two of my best friends like trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do they're trying to calm me down I'm like crying and I'm like I'm just like freaking out because I'm like where did they get that first picture of me with no makeup on like I have no idea how they would have gotten that and they're posting pictures of me in a bathing suit and then my friends are like DMing them trying to be like what are you doing in Jenna's account like who is this and they're responding like it's me and like they're saying things like oh I can't FaceTime right now because I'm doing schoolwork right now and I'm like um no like they know my personal business like they know I do virtual school like all this stuff so I'm like 
not really sure how that happened but anyways um after I would say they were probably in my account for like an hour and I like couldn't get anyone but like to get into it like no one had any idea who was posting luckily like underneath the post like that they posted with no makeup on like people were commenting like I was hacked which was really nice because like I didn't have any way to get into it so after that Instagram like emailed me back and they were like okay here's what you need to do and I like got back into it and deleted everything but I was just really shaken up by that like someone had invaded my privacy and gone behind my back into my account and posted things that they knew that I would be uncomfortable with so it was really scary and it made me feel very vulnerable and just kind of upset and I'm really glad that I had like friends to like calm me down and get me through it Another thing about someone like being in your account is you're like, why is this person doing this? Who is this? You're trying to explore all the possibilities of like who it could be. And I genuinely couldn't come up with anyone that would do that to me. Like even like old people that I used to date and stuff, like they didn't ever have my passwords because I don't share it with people. And plus like, why would they do that? So, and like all my friends are like, oh, well, who do you think it could be? And I'm like, I genuinely have no clue. So I don't know, but if I can like find the screenshots of like what he, they were saying like while they were in my account, I'll like post it like right over here. But that's the first hacker story done. It's nonsense and it was really scary and uncomfortable for me. But luckily like they hadn't gone back in my Instagram after that. So that's over and done with. And just when I thought like I was good to go, like it wasn't gonna happen again, I changed my password, like I'm all good. <sighs> Another thing happens. It was tonight that this had happened, so this is fresh on my mind. But I would say that was a month ago, so a month goes by probably, and I'm in my Snapchat, Snapchatting my friends, doing what I do, and all of a sudden I get logged out of Snapchat. And I'm like, Oh god, like here we go again, like another thing, like I do not need this right now. And I was like, okay, maybe it just like is refreshing things and like making me like make a new password. Because sometimes like accounts like do that, I don't know. So I'm like, okay, it's fine, like don't freak out, like it's gonna be fine. So, <laughs> it wasn't fine. Let's just cut that, like, oh, it wasn't fine. So I'm like trying to get back into my account and it's like saying like I'm using the wrong password and like I had the thing where like if you just tapped it like it would fill in the password so like I knew that was like what my old password was and I'm like oh fantastic fantastic so this person that's already in my account changed my password again and honestly I do think it's the same person that was in my Instagram because like I don't know just the way they were talking to the people it seemed like it was the same human <laughs> but so anyways like I'm logged out of my Snapchat, I'm trying to reset it, I can't get into it, and I'm getting really frustrated because I tried to reset it with my phone because I had my phone number set up with my Snapchat account, and it wasn't letting me, and I was like, oh, this is making me so mad, and my friends are texting me, and they're telling me, like, this person that's in my account is, like, sending Snapchats to everyone and posting things on my story, and I'll, like, post over here what they, like, were saying. But basically, like, the first thing that happened was the hacker, like, he made a group chat with, like, the people I have a streak with and didn't say anything in it. Just made a group chat of, like, a bunch of people, probably, like, 40 people. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure because I couldn't see it. But they, they left the group chat immediately after they made it. That's why I couldn't see it when I logged back into my account finally. But, so, <laughs> they make the group chat and, like, a bunch of people are like, what the heck is going on? Why did you make a group chat? What, this group, what is this group chat for? And they're texting me on my phone, like on my phone number. And they're like, Jenna, why did you make this group chat? What's this for? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I didn't make a group chat. And they're like, yeah, you did. Like, it's got like 40 people in it. Like, are you having a party or something? And I'm like, no. Like, I didn't make a group chat. Like, I'm logged out of my Snapchat right now. Like, I can't get into my Snapchat. And they're like oh, well, someone's in your Snapchat, and they made a group chat, and then five minutes later, the same people are texting me, and they're like, Jenna, this person has sent, like, a picture saying, like, hey, Jenna's Snapchat friends or whatever, 
like to all of my contacts on Snapchat and I have like over 300 people on Snapchat so I'm like oh that's fantastic but I'm like if you were smart you wouldn't say like hey join a Snapchat friends because that sounds like someone's inside of your account so I'm like okay you're stupid but so I'm like freaking out because I'm like this is the second time within a month that I've gotten hacked and now it's on Snapchat and Snapchat has memories of pictures like now they have a bunch of pictures and they can see what's on my camera roll and all that stuff and I'm freaking out. I'm like, what if they post something like, I don't know, not that I have anything bad on my like memories, but like they could post anything. Like I could have like something so random and just embarrassing on there. So I'm like freaking out. I can't get back into my Snapchat. I have to email them again because I can't get into it. And I'm like FaceTiming with my friends again. They're like trying to calm me down, telling me like everything that they're posting. And then they post on my story, like a picture of me from today. Like a picture that I took today and saved. And they put like sexy or something like that. Like I'll just, I'll post it over here. But I'm like, oh my God, like why? And then they posted another picture of me in like a crop top and like shorts and said something else. I don't remember what it said, but I'll post all of it right here. They posted four pictures on my story. They were Snapchatting people. And luckily I have great friends that were like trying to call and see who it was, but I know they didn't answer and they were like just trying to figure out who the heck was in my Snapchat. But it's very scary. I think having someone hack into your Snapchat's scarier than on your Instagram because they do have like access to all those pictures that you've taken and like I had no idea what that person was gonna like post of me and like say to my friends like and even now like I don't think half the people that got that snapchat know that I was hacked which is another reason why I'm making this video because like I want that known like I did not send you guys like all those weird messages like but it's very scary that like someone keeps hacking into my account. It's frustrating to me and it makes me mad that someone would do that to me. And I can't come up with a reason why someone would do that. It just like boggles my mind that someone thinks that's okay. It's such an invasion of privacy and it hurts to know that someone's like trying to attack me like that. And that's like really dramatic but it's how I feel and like I ended up going to my friend's house tonight and she was like trying to calm me down and like all the people that were there like really helped a lot but I walked in and I was like crying and I was like I'm just not I'm not trying to like be obnoxious but like this is scary and like I just want to say like I'm so glad that nothing bad was posted of me on my snapchat like the things that they were saying was terrible and I would never wish that upon anyone but I'm so glad that nothing worse was posted because, I don't know, you don't think about someone getting into your account and seeing the things that you've taken on there. So, as a little, like, cautionary tale for you guys, like, if this doesn't make you, like, more nervous about, like, and cautious of what you're, like, taking pictures and saving on your Snapchat, it should. Because I know that after this, I'm going to definitely be more careful with what I'm taking on Snapchat and if I decide to take a picture that like I don't like if I'm taking pictures that I don't want people to see maybe put them in your Maya's only or just don't take the picture at all because it's just not smart. I hope this video was entertaining for you guys and you guys got some enjoyment out of this story but also I hope that it kind of gives you a little precaution to be smarter online and be careful with what you are posting and what you're saving and sending online because you never know when someone's going to strike and hack into your account or do something that you don't want. And just be careful with who you're sharing your passwords with, your mom and dad, that makes sense, your sister maybe, but don't share it with your best friend. I know you guys probably think that that's normal, like they're going to save your snap streaks or whatever or even your boyfriend, like it's just not worth it. It's not smart. And if you do end up doing that, make sure you change passwords after and change passwords frequently because it's not safe and not smart to not do that. And so. if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have any story time requests or makeup tutorials you want. I am more than happy to do them. I'll talk to you later.